Welcome guys, welcome to my channel, eat nutritious food, um, get rich and drink good beer. So I'm going to actually uh, talk today a little bit on the on, 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 on sidelines. Uh, I'm going to teach you one dish. I'm going to talk about a few things which are really close to my heart. The first one is the mental health and physical health and, and its stability. The second one is financial stability. The third one is, is educational stability. What do I mean by all of that? I think we all need good mental and, and physical health. And then part of that will be dictated by the kind of food we eat. Food uh, is, is, is really important for our soul. The second one is financial stability. I think, again, the first one is impacted. If you have a decent income, if you have some passive income, it, it actually adds to that mental and, and, and physical uh, stability. And the last one is educational uh, stability. Uh, what, what do I mean by that? I, I think what I mean is, is lifelong learning. I did a executive MBA style cell tire foundation course when I was a lecturer in the university. I did it at Babson College, Boston. All shout out to all the homies <laughs> in, in Babson College, Boston. It's, it's, it's very important. I, I always uh, keep learning. As part of my entrepreneurial journey, we went to Silicon Valley, we did small projects there, I worked there in San Francisco, and then we went to China, we, we did lots of uh, small projects in China, we visited Nanjing, Jiaxing, uh, Shanghai, and it was brilliant, it was brilliant. Uh, the, the, the things we, we, we thought about China were totally incorrect, it is a big market, so most of my investments are in, in American market and in, in Chinese market because I, I believe they, they, they are the biggest economies and they're growing pretty good. I also have some investments in, in, in the UK market. So that's what I mean by financial, uh, uh, sorry, that's what I mean by uh, educational uh, stability. We, we need to keep learning. Uh, we need to keep learning for lifelong. So uh, that's a little bit my digression about that. But let's talk about uh, today, uh, a dish that I learned in Bas uh, Babson College, Boston. It's a turkey burger. It's not really perfect size turkey because um, I just bought it whenever it was, uh, I, I, I didn't have too much time, so I just bought it. So there are five pieces, I'm gonna cut it in half after I cook it. There is cucumber, there is lettuce, there is uh, tomatoes, that's the jalapenos, the Mexican one. These uh, jalapenos will, is only for me and my wife because they are a bit strong. They're packed in vitamin Z. It's a pandemic going on. We, we really, really need uh, vitamin C to fight the viruses, fight. Uh, it's totally good. You can't overdo vitamin C because it's more soluble. So you excrete it out, anything excess. So don't worry about it. So that's the vegetables bit. I have uh, buns here. I have the longer version given the turkey uh, was slightly longer. So I had this longer version, but I only got four. Uh, we are a big family, as I told you. Uh, there is this one, seeded ones. And I have, again, two different cheeses here. One is the Gouda cheese, which is a Dutch cheese. Another one is just a mature cheddar. Uh, you can use the mild, you can use the uh, chili uh, cheese. You, there is so many varieties. Just I was just lazy. You can actually grate it, but I just bought it because I'm, I'm really lazy and I'm really tired. So I'm just going to uh, fire away. Okay, the... Ketchup is for the kids, uh, burger sauce is for us. There is uh, Himalayan salt, you can use any salt. There is Italian style seasoning. So it has basil, thyme, oregano. Uh, it's a mix, again, I bought it from Tesco. You don't have to add so many spices together. So you're gonna throw it that. There is uh, butter and there is my classic olive oil. So let's get started. Um, Okay, uh, what I'm gonna do is, is uh, throw this butter in, in there. Uh, it's an unsalted butter, guys. Just, just a note. Um, I always add, I don't know what this is, let's just, it's a uh, seed from the burger. <laughs> um, but I don't want it to burn and destroy the taste. Just a little bit of olive oil. Uh, what olive oil does is it increases the burning temperature of, of butter, so the butter will not burn. So it is at nine heat. And yeah, so I'm just gonna wait for, for this. And I'm gonna introduce uh, a new penny stock. Uh, so what is penny stocks? It, it's very different for everyone. 
And for me, uh, penny stocks is something under 10 pounds. For some people, penny stocks are something under five pounds. From, well, technically, maybe it is pennies, so something under one pound. Uh, but the, the, the stock I'm gonna introduce is slightly above one pound. It's called ABML, American Battery and Metals Limited. They're gonna change the name to uh, the American Battery Technology uh, Limited. So it's gonna happen soon. Again, the idea is, is once you have the word technology, you, you bring in more uh, investors. It's a penny stock still for me. Um, so let's say again, let's talk about your coffee uh, money, your cake money, five pounds will, uh, it is $1.40. So five pounds may get you five shares. And a month's average, you can see actually the stock has gone insane from 14th of December when it was sitting at 20, 20 cents. And that's insane, that's five times, and then up here to 144. Um, so it's, it's really difficult to predict in what's gonna happen in future, and hindsight is always a wonderful thing. Never ever uh, regret to your decision, uh, you, you need to own up your decision. So I, I would say just, just do a little bit more research. I, I still think this has a big room to grow. Uh, uh, the, the, the plan is to uh, uplist to a uh, bigger stock uh, market, bigger exchange. Uh, they are still traded as OTC stocks. Uh, OTC stocks are really risky. They are uh, dependent on market manipulators. If you want to do it uh, as students, uh, I, I'm okay with that. It's nothing wrong with making money. I just don't do it. I always invest in, in long term. So. Uh, this uh, this is almost uh, ready, and all I'm gonna do is now just decrease the heat because I spent way too much time talking. But no rules cooking, guys. Remember, this cooking has no rules. Um, so, and then just uh, I'll add these uh, turkey slices. Uh, never ever overfill the skillet. Okay, uh, never ever do that. Just and also always uh, wash your hands, uh, it's a raw meat, so the moment you touch it, you should not really touch anything else. Let's uh, season this uh, as well. Again, the seasoning is as simple, it's salt, it's pepper, um, and uh, it's, it's the Italian seasoning. So, again, this is the rock salt, just gentle on top of each turkey slice. Italian seasoning, um, just a little bit like that. Little bit of uh, black pepper. I prefer the full peppercorn grinders, but again, as I told you in the previous video, my kids don't like that. So just a gentle uh, dip here. And then what I'm gonna do is just turn it over. Let's see if I can find. Yeah. So I'm gonna repeat the process. So it's already looking very nice. You can just turn it and I'm gonna add another gentle this time because I have seasoned it enough. So just a gentle, a little bit more Italian seasoning. I hope Italian friends of mine forgive me for this blasphemy um, and a little bit of black pepper and that's pretty much it guys. So in the meantime, this is cooking, let's finish our penny stock uh, discussion. So the, again, um, this video is only for entertainment purposes. I'm not a financial advisor. I don't have any financial uh, qualifications. Uh, so do your own research. But what my research says is, is uh, the CEO, Doug Cole, is a seasoned uh, veteran. Uh, the CTO, Ryan, I can't pronounce his second name, Maltzert, he is ex-Tesla. He was, uh, in fact, uh, involved in the Gigafactory and where he used to work on lithium recycling. So ABML, interestingly, is a lithium recycling company. So they recycle lithium out of batteries. If you think about uh, electric vehicles, it's, it's happening, guys. My next car will be EV. There's no question about it, okay? The world is going electric. All those batteries need recycled. There is not enough lithium in the ground. The 
lithium which is in the ground uh, it, it's it's not an easy process uh, to mine lithium so so we have to recycle it uh, it's it's very very important there are other so the the ev battery does not only contain lithium it also contains other uh, metals and what these guys do is 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 a green technology i told you earlier in my previous video i only invest in green companies uh, they they actually don't burn anything so their extraction process is a trade secret plus uh, patents they they it's a very green uh, technology the very little water is required they have just started to build the plant so guys this is a very risky play here because the plant is not even operational yet okay so the the plant uh, is is going to be constructed if they can show that their process can generate battery grade lithium i think sky is the limit with this company if that plant fails you may lose all the investment so i have uh, opened a small position uh, in this company again uh, these are penny stocks so i'm only going to invest uh, my uh, few few pounds in it uh, again uh, i what i've seen in when i was teaching in scotland uh, i had taught around 5000 nurses by the way so all previous students hi to all of you um, one thing I, i realized when i was talking to them that their diet is not amazing every canteen i go there is fried chips there is uh, chips and curry sauce chips and cheese sausages uh you 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 need to satisfy your soul so sometimes it's okay but not every day uh, what i was noticing that many students actually just eat chips it is uh, i i i have to change this there's another thing these small companies need market capital okay and one of the most untapped market are the students i want each and every student to invest i want these companies to benefit from this capital so i hope i may contribute towards making some companies successful but again it's a risky play do your own due diligence uh, this video is for entertainment purposes so let's have a look i cut off the video there to save time uh, you can see actually they are looking really nice <laughs> looking amazing uh, they are you can see this is a thick piece so what i'm going to do is, is just maybe put it like that uh, this one I'll, i'll i'll put it like that and i'll i attempt to slightly overcook things because i'm scared of meat you have these crazy guys who have these thermometers who insert in the center of the meat honestly guys there's no rules okay if it is a little bit overcooked it it, it doesn't matter guys okay there is going to be taste coming from jalapeno for us for kids the ketchup the guacamole the the lettuce crunch the cucumber tomato cheese you you really 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 don't don't go by these big chefs who say oh you need to have be perfect you know don't need to overcook crap it you know no rooms cooking here guys hey guys time for the third act uh, burgers uh, I, i don't drink any expensive uh, beer with burgers i think any lager will do so i'm going to probably you already know this beer um uh, it's Cordebar, uh, French Strasbourg. It's northeastern France, I think. Eric Cantona, the man you legend, <laughs> advertises this beer. It is crispy. It is light. It's a lager. Um, again, I'm not gonna wait for the burger to be assembled. I'm gonna have a sip. It, I, this is probably one of my favorite uh, beers, guys. I, I drink this a lot. So, cheers to all the students uh, in Ulster University. Cheers to all the students in University of Western Scotland Glasgow Babson College Boston Postgraduate Institute of Medical Research in India cheers everyone oh, okay guys uh, this is almost done but again i i i really really worry with 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 uh, meat so i am just cutting with the thickest part you can actually see this is actually quite well cooked already so uh, this is done okay guys so i've just cut them in the middle and i'm just going to give them a quick a uh, high heat uh, exposure and uh, what it's going to do is it making a little bit crispy guys there is so much uh, goodness left in this uh, pan uh, but i'm very lazy today so i'm not going to make it a sauce but what you can do is you can use any citrus juice so maybe a little bit of orange juice apple juice pineapple i don't know a little bit of that citrus juice maybe add some thickening granules and it will become an absolutely amazing sauce and that's the only two things you need to do
Guys, the turkey is ready, so always let it rest for a few minutes after you have cooked it. What we're gonna do is just melt this cheese and also um, maybe get uh, these uh, buns a little bit crisper, a little bit crunchier. Uh, so I have heated the oven to 200 degrees C. It really doesn't matter, okay? The idea is to melt the cheese. That's, that's pretty much it. Uh, most of university halls have kitchens and they have these ovens. If you don't have uh, an oven, I think it's okay to microwave a little bit, few seconds, that will melt the cheese. If, if, if that is not available, you can eat it as it is, okay? You can also apply butter or margarine, uh, use the same pan and, and uh, heat it, and then, then assemble the burger, okay? So this is just going in um, for a few minutes, uh, and it's just a waiting game for the moment. So let's talk about ABML. Uh, there's quite a lot of videos on Proactive, uh, which is a kind of a video um, platform where they interview the CEOs, CTOs. The, the CTO is amazing. He was uh, involved in Tesla Gigafactory. I, I think he has already attracted many more tax Tesla staff uh, to this uh, company. I, there's, there's, there's only one way up for this company. I have a personal price target of five pounds by end of 2022 on this company. You can imagine by the time you graduate, if you put 100 uh, pounds in it, you can multiply it by five, you make 500 pounds at the end of the uh, two years or at, at the end of graduation. It's, it's coffee money again. It's uh, something you can uh, do it as a passive income. Guys, by the way, if you know how to speak English, you can actually uh, work as an English speaking person. Uh, you can actually earn about 10 to 20 dollars an hour. Uh, I will leave a link in the description about that company where it introduces people who want to learn English and practicing in English and then people who actually know English and they are paid pretty good, 10 to 20 dollars an hour. So always have these extra incomes, always have these side incomes. Okay guys, let's assemble the burger, the cheese is melted. Uh, the burgers are slightly crispier on the end as you can see. This step is important guys, be careful not to burn the burners. So let's assemble. I am gonna use this longer version one. So first thing to do is, is break this lettuce like this. And then you see this uh, stem running, just break it. Otherwise it will make the burger unstable, okay? So let's just put that there. Then some cucumbers. Don't be greedy in this, guys. Don't try to overload the burger. Uh, it's, it's not a good idea. Uh, this burger is for me, so <laughs> I'm gonna add uh, jalapenos. And, and yeah, so the last bit is uh, this very long turkey. You can actually see this is looking glorious. You can, I'm gonna be greedy or should I leave it for the kids? <laughs> Okay, I'm not gonna be greedy. Uh, that's uh, pretty much it. You can add guacamole a little bit uh, if you want. Uh, this is a Mexican thing. You, I can maybe some other day show you how to make it by yourself. There is this burger sauce. I got it from Lido. It's it says burger sauce. <laughs> so maybe a little bit of that. And I don't really like to add too much of this because it has too much salt. And it's I am teaching you how to eat healthy. So I, I really uh, think we should probably, there's natural taste in, in the food. So the taste test time, so I, I like to press it a little like that and I'm ready to taste it and have a bite. Mm. Guys, the cheese, the jalapeno, I don't think I had much tomato in there, but it is fantastic. Go try it. Try it. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell button, uh, comment. Especially if you have tried this, you have made this, you have made the previous decisions I taught you. Please comment and, and tell me how you did it. Uh, I, I, I would love to hear from you. Please, please, please like, subscribe, share, hit that bell button. And I'll see you in the next video.